Without them, wala tayong damit na sinusot ngayon. Wala tayong um, pagkain, ang masarap na pagkain na kinakain natin every morning, lunch, dinner. Wala tayong, uh, wala tayong alarm clock, wala tayong nurse, wala tayong, um, ano pa ba, disciplinary, disciplinary, ano to, person na mag-discipline sa atin, wala tayong advisor, wala tayong um, lahat, practitioner, ala pantera everything but you know um the realize ko lang being a mom supposed to be highest job uh, parang highest paying job siya kasi um i saw hindi ko na kasi hindi ko alam na meron na pala tayo um para kay TV man is god that's me right now like that is good i didn't realize na meron yun, meron na tayo kasi kagabi na ako sinabihan ni ng sister ko na meron na pala ay magda-download sana ako ng um, video may papakita ako it's about um, kwento ko na lang before I start with my preaching it's about parang nagawa sila ng experimentation about job interviews interview sila job through Skype pag interview ka nun ang sabi na you will be a you will be handling documents you will be handling um, people at the same time, you will be a manager. At the same time, maglilinis ka din. Tapos yung iba, I thought I'm applying for a managerial position. Bakit maglilinis ako? Bakit ako maglalaba? Bakit ako magluluto? Natatawa sila. Tapos sabi ng interviewer, um, this is a position for being a mother. Tapos bigla sila na nagdala. Oo, oh, no, parang um, one, a mother is a parang a hundred in one. Parang CEO na siya, CEO na siya, siya pa yung staff, siya pa yung nagbabudget, siya pa yung dito, siya pa yung... Our mom is the greatest parang gift na tinggalin kay God. Amen? And kawawa lang nga siya dahil kasi wala siyang mom sa kasili. Pero yun, um, I'll go back to my um, preaching. I'll go to my preaching. Do you know that our moms... Um, Yung, yung finding a wife, siguro malamit single sa akin. I'm single and I with just witness last April 24 yung kasal ni Ate Shaw. How um, blessed, how blessed is it is to 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 wait for the one na ibibigay sa ating Lord. He who finds sabi niya sa Bible, he who finds a wife finds favor from the Lord. And you, um, finding a wife is a blessing from God. And hindi na siya basta-basta. Nung susulat niya, napansin niya noon yung 500 peso, si Ninoy pa lang, hindi pa nakaganon. Parang problemado siya. Wala akong picture. Pero nakita niyo ngayon yung, yung, yung bagong 500, naka-smile na siya. Ando na si Cory Aquino. Diba? Parang, ay, nasusulat din pala na, it's he who finds a wife, finds favor from the Lord. That's good. Amen. Praise God. And, bakit mom? Diba? Even in our, um, sa constitution natin sa sa family family ito family code pag pag 7 years old 10 years old pas pababa ang um, if meron 7 7 years old pababa yung custody is sa mother di ba hindi sa father sa mother talaga because moms are nurturing moms moms are caring moms are hindi tayo pinapabayaan Amen? Marami akong natutunan sa mga ko. Sa mga ko, natutunan ko na dapat malinis. Diba? Malinis, alam niyo yun, kahit konting sprinkle na meron dyan, kalayag na. Sa akin, hindi man. Parang malinis pa man yan. Pero sa standard niya, hindi pa yan malinis. Dapat malinis yung kama, yung kotsyon. Kahit anong makita niyo, hindi malinis. Dapat, I believe lahat ng moms na din, nakaka-develop na obsessive compulsive. <laughs> Nagkakaroon sila ng OC, dapat malinis lahat. Walang, walang kay isang spot lang na malikabo. And natuto ako sa nanay ko na dapat yung, yung feeling ng anticipation. Yun ba yung sino din na naka-experience yung sa mall, pagsalawain ka, tapos sabihin sa'yo, bantay lang yung kapatabot na ito pala yun. <laughs> Tapos kung kakaamang umakain ka, alam, pagdating ng bahay, papaluin ako, <laughs> or ano ba? Diba? Doon natin alaman na anticipation, anticipation, na feeling anticipation. And sino dito na 
Because of your mom, natuto tayo mag-pray. Amen? Natuto tayo mag-pray. Pero nga, pero nga, one thing, pag-ampo ka na, mawala na ang mancha sa sa nilabahan, ha? Na, <laughs> matuto, natuto tayo magkasal, kahit sabi ng mga natin na, magkasal ka, na mawala yung mancha sa kurgina na yan. Amen? And, doon, marami tayong tutunan, di ba? And, did you, did we, did my research, nakita ko sa University of Michigan, um, na, na survey sila uh, from 11 years old to 18 years old. Even though, even though na minsan may instay sa nanay ng iniba na ay kada ihok, saba, kada kada kung ganun, pagalitan, ito, pagalitan ka, parang wala ng tama. Pero, um, sinervey nila sa University of Michigan from 11 years old to 18 years old, 80% na nagsabi na they want to be their mom. Gusto nila na maging katulad sila ng mom nila. Maybe they're working, maybe a nurse, maybe a teacher, maybe what. But they want to be their mom. Because what they are thinking, they know how to, to, ano to? Basta, kakaiba, hindi ko ma-explain. Mahirap siguro maging, especially yung tatay lang, tapos wala yung mother, the father will be the mom. At the same time, maging mother siya. Mahirap yung role niya. I've experienced that many times pag wala si mama. Mahirap ang role ni mama. Siguro, siguro ma-achieve ko lang 10% lang sa anong makakaya ng nanay ko. Tapos 10% na yun, pagod na ako. Hindi ko na kaya. Hindi ko na alam na nandun. Because our mom is unique. Every mom is unique. And we give them a round of applause to our moms. And for our moms, what sa mga moms natin ngayon, mothers, soon to be mothers, kasi yan. <laughs> um, ano yung gusto natin ipasa na legacy sa mga anak natin? Is it, um, is it knowledge? Is it education? It's good. Is it financial? Is it um, principles? Is it lahat? But did we know that the greatest, greatest legacy that we can pass, or maybe ang iba kita, hindi ba, kaya kaya't is, iba lang, kaya lang, gusto nang ipasan. Pero, we know that the greatest legacy that we can pass in our child, children, my child, my children, your children, our children, the next generation, the greatest thing that we can pass is faith. Faith kay God. And faith, sabi nga, iba sa Bible, we cannot satisfy God without faith. So, faith is our greatest um, ano to, our greatest legacy that we can pass to our children. Um, I've written, dali-dali kanya, sabi nga sa uh, 2 Timothy 1.5 I have been reminded of your sincere faith. Sinabi to ni Paul sa anak niya, si Timothy. I have sincere faith which first lived in your grandmother, Louise, and in your mother, Eunice. And I am persuaded, now live, now, and I am persuaded, yung faith na yun lives in you. Paul is persuaded that the faith that his mother, mother Paul, Louis, and his wife, si Eunice, is the same faith na nandun sa anak niya. Wow. That would be the greatest parang legacy na mamapas natin sa mga future generation. Amen? So I'll go back, I'll go to my reading. Um, can we turn our Bibles to Matthew 15, verse 21 to 28? Amen. I mean, um, oh. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. Jesus did not answer a word, so his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The women came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, 
it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Yes, Lord, she said, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered, Woman, you have the great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed from the very hour this break. Heavenly Father, Lord, um, we thank you, Lord God, for this wonderful word this day, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for our mothers, Lord. Um, may, you, may this woman, Lord God, is here in the Bible, Lord God, be, a, be an example, Lord God, in our generations right now, Lord. Lord God, we, we pray, Lord God, that you help us understand, Lord God, the word that you have revealed to us this day, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit, Lord, to be in us here tonight, Lord God. Use me unto your mouth, please, Lord God. Clear my mind, Lord God, and open our hearts and open our minds, Lord God. Have your way on us here today, today, Lord God. We bless you and we honor you, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So, Iba, this is about the Canaanite woman. Canaanite is the Canaan. They're, they're uh, Gentile, siya, and siya Jew. And, um, dito sa, they are in the region of Tyre and Sidon. Tyre and Sidon is a place of, of Gentiles. Actually, actually, these are bitter enemies of Israel. Pumunta doon si Jesus, um, if we will go to Mark, nasa Mark, di ba si Dai, di ba? If we go to Mark, they withdrew to a small house. Pumasok sila sa bahay. And then, pumasok sila sa bahay because they don't want any um, ayaw nila ng yung, di ba, pag pumunta si Jesus sa isang lugar, people will flock. People will flock and and hear the teaching of Jesus and they will, um, Jesus will heal the sick, uh, cleanse the lepers, um, heal more, and then feed the thousands. Hindi, pumunta dun si Jesus, he withdrew to a small house. Um, some theologians some theologian say, baka magpahinga or what. Basta pumunta siya doon, and then, this Sar and Tidon kasi, malapit din siya sa border ng Israel. They are paramal sa border. So maybe, this woman, this woman, siguro narinig niya yung chismis. Ay, nandiyan si Jesus, yung nag-heal. Ah, saan? So, so pagpunta niya doon, nakita niya sa bahay. And then, sabi niya dito, Lord, Son of David, Ibig sabihin, kilala niya si Jesus, even though she is a Gentile. Um, na, so narinig, na, most probably narinig niya yung mga newses, uh, news, newses, news na um, uh, Jesus is a healer, Jesus is a savior, Jesus can heal this, Jesus can heal that. He said, Lord Son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. Have mercy on me. Bakit have mercy on me? Diba? She asked, pumunta siya kay Jesus to ask that her child, her daughter, will be healed from a demon possession. But why did she say, have mercy on me? Ganun kasi yung parents natin, diba? Especially mothers. Sana ako na lang magkasakit. O ganun na lang. Diba? Sana, ako na lang. Sana, mister ko na lang. <laughs> Sana. Diba? Child, uh, mothers, even I felt that, especially when yung bunso namin si Nikki Bing, diba? Nagkakasakit. Sana, ako na lang. Ako na lang siya. Even though my mom tells, ako na lang. Lord, ako na lang. Have mercy on me. Most, yun, most, we want to, to, to parang, parang, ibigay mo na lang sa akin, Lord, yung sakit. Diba? Tapos, um, and then, sabi dito, my daughter is suffering, suffering directly from demon possession. But, you see this, sinabi dito ni Jesus, diba? Woman, how great is your faith? Is a last. I, I love that word, woman, how great is your faith? Maganda yun yung sa tombstone natin, nandun na, friends, diba? Ah, a man with great faith. Diba? Come on. Maganda yun. A, a man of great faith. Sabi ni Jesus, 
Is it wonderful that Jesus, when we go to heaven, will tell you, um, Chester, you're a man of great faith. My son, you're a man of faith. My daughter, you're a man of great faith. And to think na Gentile siya, Gentile na woman na to, inanay. Did you know that there are only two people in the Bible called to be a, a, a man of great faith? Tapos Gentile pa. One, one is the centurion. One is the centurion, he is a Gentile too. And then second, this woman, a Gentile too. How can we qualify para yung question natin for this Sunday? Siguro yung iba may sa tanong, ah, preaching ni France, ano lang pala about matters? No, this is something about the desperation of how can we qualify to be called a man or a woman of great faith? How do we qualify ba? Paano nga ba tayo qualify of how can we be a man or woman of great faith? One, Sinabi ni Jesus, great is your faith, woman. Your, your child is healed, your daughter is healed. How can we be? One, desperation. This, um, itong babae ito, he's so desperate. Sinabi niya, di ba, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Because of desperation, because, tiyan mo, um, he, sinabi ko kanina that Jesus is in a house. Jesus is in a house, Tapos bigla siyang pumasok. Jesus, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on me. Tapos ito, hindi ka pa siya pumasok lang bigla. Binigrate niya yung social barrier. Wala na, tao po, tao po, wala na. Binuksan niya siguro yung, yung door, pumasok siya, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on me. And then what he said, what she said, my daughter is suffering directly from demon possession. Wow. Kaya natin yun. Kahit ko man kaya, nahihiya ako. Even nga mag-pray, mag, uh, pag maraming tao, tapos ano, minsan nahihiya ka pa, di ba? Especially mag marami kang kasama. Ah, kaya. But this one, this woman is so desperate that he wants her daughter to be healed from a demon possession. Siguro nga sinasabi dito, ay, hindi ka naman kailangan niya, kasi hindi mo possess naman. Puso pa ba ngayon yung demon possession? We don't know. We know that Demon possession now is very, very deceptive. Tama ba? Napaka-deceiving. Deceiving ang demon possession ngayon. Even in, um, if we tingnan natin yung news ngayon, um, criminals, age, yung age, mas bumababa yung juvenile um, delinquency. delinquency. Oh, juvenile delinquency from 15 years old, binababa to 10. You see how demon possessed is uh, I mean how how the enemy will will ano to, will influence our our generations now. Even yung yung teenage pregnancies, if I'm, I'm in a hospital, nakita mo yung teenage pregnancies mas dumadami. And then after that, pag nanganak yun, 15 years old, 14 years old, 17 years old, pag nanganak yun malang father. And then the cycle goes on. Kawawa yung bata. See how the enemy is, is, is inculcating the minds of the teens right now. And to think pa na meron mong iba incest. Incest. And yung iba um, drugs, barkada, murder. Marami na ngayon, even the rebels now are recruiting teenagers. If we go to um, Palestine, Palestine, you see those children, um, my AK, and then struck in a bomb. I'm a martyr, I'm a martyr. I will kill the Jews, I will kill the Christians. You see how the enemy will deceive um, our, our, our generations. Now, even us, vulnerable tayo mga adults. Yung dati, yung pornography, you have to go to a certain place to buy the magazines or whatever. You have to go to a certain um, store para bumili. And now, it's just a click away. And now, nakikita natin siya sa, sa grocery stores. Andun lang, FHM. Tapos, kukuha ganun. Siya, ah, okay naman to, brother. FHM, for His Majesty. <laughs> wow, finish siya na-expect FHM. 
see how the enemy is, is sabi nga, sabi nga ni Paul, our, our enemy is not flesh and blood, but it's the principalities. So we have to be, be we have to beware. Our mothers, mothers are a great guidance counselor. They know, they know, alam nyo, um, secret, secret of having a good marriage is having a advice from your parents. Especially if you're going down there. Because they've experienced it. Um, ang ano ko kasi noon, ang mindset ko kasi noon, dapat yung love life, ikaw lang, huwag ka nang makinig sa parents mo. Ang tanda yan, all this yan sila. All this yan ang ano nila. Pero, come to think of it, ilang years na sila nandito. And, we might not ask, but, ilang breakups na yung na experience nila. And they know the way in and way out or kalabasan ng relationship na yan. Even in life, even in job, they know. So, advice ko sa, sa ating lahat, especially those uh, teenagers, nag-aadal pa, or um, high school pa lang, or college, as advice from your parents. It will be a good one. And we have to honor them, not just our mothers, but our fathers too. We have to honor them because sabi nga, the uh, Ten Commandments, honor your father and mother. Yun yung first commandment about our dito sa world. Kasi the first four is um, about God. Relationship natin kay God. And then the first, yun yung first commandment sa ten commandments na merong relational um, horizontally sa parents natin especially. And that is a significant one. You see, sige, dito tayo. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. Maybe Exactly. Are we being desperate? Sometimes when we're desperate, tayo, um, maybe si, inisip niyo ngayon na desperation sa demon possession na naman yan. Maybe desperation from a emotional one. Desperation from a financial thing. Desperation from a physical one. Sakit ba? Cancer? I don't know. But God wants that, wants to squeeze kung ano meron tayo which is faith. Faith, trials, I mean trials, um, suffering, will squeeze our faith to believe in God. Diba? But then look at what Jesus did. Verse 23, Jesus did not answer a word. How does it feel when God is silent? Even, bit, ano na talaga? Chaotic na. And God is silent. How does that feel? Bit na lang. Ayaw ka na? Ano ang answer si God? Or to be pursued. To be fight, believing that God is with us, that God will, will work together, will, will, ano to, will, yung, 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 everything will turn out to be for your good. It's para sa good natin. Amen? That whatever, whatever position we are in right now, God will turn it to in a big of We just don't know where, we just don't know how, but God will. Amen. God's time and God is willing. Amen. Amen. You see, Jesus did not answer a word. Diba? Parang nag-ask ka na, Lord, heal my, sabi niya, heal my, um, my daughter, for he is the demon possessed. You know that our mothers, our parents, are interceding for us. Our parents are always interceding for us. Praying for us, for a good future, for a good life, for guidance, for for um, for everything. Para sa good natin. Our parents are interceding for us. Not for just our parents, but are we interceding for our brothers? Are we interceding for our fathers? Hindi pa na born again. Ow, ow. I'm praying for my father. Are we praying for, for example, are we praying for our pizza na ati? Or baga, baga din na na dyan, ang pulmo, dyan na. Please ka dyan. Hihingi naman yan ng pangsongki. Instead, we pray for them, we prejudge them. Instead, we will be a light for them para tayo pa yung nag ah, holy ako, Christian ako. Sa 
Sakit kita ng cross. Paduin kita ng Bible. No, we have to be a, a beacon of love. We have to be a beacon, not beacon, ang sarap ng beacon kanina. We have to be a beacon of light. We have to be a beacon of... Because that, and yan yung natin, Jesus. And we have to parang islap natin sa iba. Amen? So are we interceding for our loved ones? Amen. Not just for our loved ones, for our friends, office mates. Huwag mo ako insulto yung Christian ako. Alis ka na lang. Bigyan kita ng Bible verse para may insulto ka. Grabe Bible verse kong insulto. Di ba? Instead, we will show the love na binigay sa ating God. Amen? And then, it's, that's, ano, proceed. So his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away for she keeps crying out after us. Yung mga disciples ni God, ni Jesus, Send her away, Lord. Kasi napakaingay niya na. Ang napakaskandalosa. Baka marinig tayo malaman ng mga ibang tao na nandito ka and then the people will flock. Siguro yung ibang disciples, pag hindi ito nakalagin yung si Jesus, yung bahay ko na. <laughs> Kasi naiinis na siguro sa Diyos, hindi nang gira, Oh, Jesus! Nandang gira lang sa kanila sa Peter. Ah, Jesus, paalisin mo na ito. Kasi gusto nila dapat na alisin. Jesus, paalisin mo na ito. Diba? Tapos, sabi dito, And then, this, sinabi ni Jesus, I was sent only to the lost ship of Israel. Wow. That passage means I was sent only. That passage means it means na save your ship. I was only came here to save to save to save the people of Israel because that is His promise. Yan yung promise um ni God sa people of Israel. And do you know bakit hindi pinansin masyado ng mga disciples? yung babae. Because, siguro, this time, sa time natin, women have equal rights as men. Amen. But go back to the time nilang Jesus noon, women is just a very low level class of people. Pag women yan, pag panganak, ah, women, iwan na lang to. Iwan na lang to dyan sa plaza. Pag women ka, yung, yung mindset kasi noon, pag women, ah, magluluto lang yan, mga anak ka lang naman yan, dadami na naman tayo, iwan na lang yan, bigay mo na lang yan sa iba. Kasi pag lalaki, ah, magiging warrior to, magiging farmer, magiging, marami siyang, marami siyang um, um, work na magagawa. As, pero kung women, wala. Kaya yung iwan, if we remember lot, yung binibigay niya lang yung daughters niya sa, sa iba. Because women, women on those times are very, very low sa position sa society. And even daughters. This daughter, why, why did she pray for her daughter? Kasi yung daughter is a way, di ba, babae din. So, yung, yung love na mother, even though she's, yung, yung, yung mindset that time is, yung babae is a very low Um, position in society. Amen? And I, I saw I saw this um, documentary yung kinidnap yung tatlong babae. Ah, no, no, no. Dalawang babae kinidnap and then nawala for 10 years. Nawala for 10 years. Yun pala, andun sa basta sa US, yun. Um, Nire, nagkaanak nagkaanak yung babae. 17 years old yung babae and 10 years so 27 na siya. Last year lang ata yun, um, kinuha, nakatakas actually yung babae, bringing her daughter, 6 years old. Nagkaanak na siya sa rapis. Mali sila, report nila doon sa police station and then uh, the guy was caught and in inisip ko, bakit niya tinala yung daughter niya? Siguro ako lang, kasi lalaki ako. Bakit yan din nalang? Okay naman yun, wala. Adyan ka na sa rapis, manatakay. <laughs> Pero na, I can see na yung love ng mother to her child 
even though um, she, uh, she is a product of a um, rape, an abomination or what, but she accepted her. Instead of doon siya sa tatay niya, baka i-rape na nung din kasi there's history. She took care of her daughter, even a product of not so good situation. You see, the love of a mother, the love of a parent, it's a very wonderful thing. And these women here, itong babae ito, dito sa, sa Bible, is bakit siya pinag-uusapan pa ang gana yun? Bakit siya, 2,000 years from now, chinichismis pa rin natin siya ngayon? Nandito pa rin siya, pinag-uusapan pa namin siya ngayon because of her faith. Amen. Sinabi ko, I was sent only for the Savior of Israel. But then, he answered, the woman came and knelt before him. Sinabi ni God, I was only sent for the lordship of Israel. But then, the woman came, knelt, he said, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. When did we ever um, do that? Kailan natin yung last kinawa? Moment that we're so desperate. Lord, these are my grades. It's yours. Lord, help me. Ikaw na bahala. Lord, these are my finances. Lord, help me. Are we, did we experience that desperation? A help from God. Nang kailangan talaga natin ng tulong. If we ever so need a help from God that we kneel, we cry, and God seem um, silent, diba? if we ever experience that. And, minsan, pag nilid ka ni God ng some, sa something na a walk of faith, yung faith na hindi mo, di ba? Faith is something we hope for certain of the things that we do not see. Faith is what we do not see. For example, we lead ka ni God sa isang um, trail. This is a walk of faith, child. Then you have to walk. But then you have something in mind. Ah, Lord, pagpapalya ka, Lord, ito yung gagawin ko. May plan, hindi ako. Pero huwag ka magala, Lord. Magta-tights ako. Magta-tights ako sa iyo. Magta-tights. Pero huwag ka compromise ako ng konti. Is it that, is that a walk of faith? Parang pinangungunahan natin si Lord. Parang um, tinutulungan natin si Lord sa work niya. Na instead of we just have to walk in faith with God, we just have to trust Him 100%. Not just 90, not just 80, not just 99.9%, but 100%. Trusting God. But then, the moment of desperation, we just have to kneel just have to pray, said, Lord, help me. But, tignan nyo, ano yung sinabi ni Jesus? He replied, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Huh? Toss it to their dogs. In the language kasi noon, minsan, um, I'm finding this very difficult to Parang preach, kasi dogs, ha? Sinabihan niya si yung babae na dog. Because kasi, in their language noon, um, sa Israel, Canaanites, this, yung tribe ng women, is a, um, ano to, pagan. They worship, they worship idols, they, they allow baby sacrifice, they allow, um, Maraming festivities and everything, orgies, basta lahat. That's why they are leveled as dogs. Kasi mataas yung um, parang, yun na nga, unbelievers sila. That's why um, sinabi dito na, it is not right to take the children's bread, which is children of Israel is andito, to toss it away to their, to toss it to their dogs. To further explain Bakit sinabi ko ni Jesus sa atin? Um, I read one theologian says, Andito. Sabi dito, This is a difficult passage to understand because this is Jesus' attitude towards a person with such a desperate need. He was both silent and at the same time pointed. However, 
One thing needs to be remembered. We don't know what is happening to the heart of a woman, but Jesus did. He knew the thought of her heart, and He knew exactly what will lead to her to a personal faith in Him. So, this woman wants healing. Lord, heal my child because it is demon-possessed. Pero sinabi ni Jesus, I came only to save the lost sheep of Israel. Well, salvation. Instead of healing, binigyan ni Jesus ng salvation. That's what God, that's what Jesus wants for us. Minsan sa trials, iba, um, Lord, finance us, Lord. Will you provide? Lord, healing, Lord. Can you do this for me? Can you do this for us? Before healing comes, God wants to be, one. God wants to have a personal connection with you, with us, for every one of us. So that He will see the the purpose of your heart. Gusto kasi ni God yung heart natin. Ah, hindi lang yung, hindi lang siya magsta-stop sa healing. Pag nahil ka na, stop na, okay na. Alis ka na, alis ka na kay God. Okay Lord, hindi na ako. Balik na ako sa dati. No, God wants, first, before He heals, God wants to have a personal connection with you. God wants to have a personal connection with us. Before healing, before financial breakthrough, God wants to have a personal connection. But child, you just have to trust me. Child, you just have to worship me. Child, you just have to put your full faith in me. And I will take care of you. Okay. And then, you know this, I would like to connect this Jeremiah 29.11. We are familiar with that, di ba? I just had uh, related to it. Jeremiah 29.11 My Bible is here again. Di ba, we always always want to uh, we always want to um, to parang pag full of trials, full of um, suffering. Ito yung palagi na hindi ni declare. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and plans to give you hope and a future. Wow, Lord, thank you. Diba ang ganda ng verse? That's my life verse. One of my life verse though. Plans to give me a hope and a future. Wow. But we fail to see sa baba. Parang dun ang kayo sa stop. But it really, until 14, then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back from the captivity. Wow. Sinabi dito, I will, um, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Every promise comes with a premise. Every promise has a condition. Hindi lang yung declare ka lang, declare pero yung faith wala. Sinabi ko nga, faith, um, we cannot satisfy God without our faith. Kasi faith matters kay God. Faith and trust in Him. Because faith connects with relationship. Kasi if you don't have faith in God, parang wala kang relationship sa Kanya. You know this, gusto ko illustration ng child, yung bata, um, nasa upuan, di ba? And then, you, yung father, come, talun ka, talun, and then, tatalun yung bata. Yung is kasi, nagtatak siya sa father niya. Minsan din, takot, di ba? Takot, hindi, talun. God wants that. Just have to jump, child, and catch you. Di ba? Ang ganda na sabi ni Lord, I will, I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back from activity. God wants us with all our God wants to seek Him with all of our hearts. Alam niyo yung seek, as in super seek the Lord with all of our heart. Alam niyo yun yung situation na pag pupunta ka na ng, for example, no, may motor pa kami pag pupunta na si Papa ng office and then, yung susi ko. Wala ang susi. Mga 6 a.m., 7 a.m., wala ang susi. So hanapin, iisingin kami, hanapin yung susi ko, lahat kami sa bahay, hanap ng susi. Sopa, kahit sa rep na, alisahin na lahat, kama, aparador, alisahin na lahat. Basta makita lang ang susi, kasi malilip na si Papa. 
How about that? Seeking God na parang turn na lahat. Seeking God like parang yun na lang yung yun, yun yung kailan kailangan mo. I'm gonna seek you Lord. This is my job right now. Napaka busy ko pero I will seek you pa rin. Lord, this is my schedules right now. Lord, this is the affairs that I have but I will seek you Lord. If we seek God with all of our hearts then we will find God. Sabi niya dito, di ba? You will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. Mami tulit. Seek me and you will find me. Sabi niya, seek and you will find ask and it will be given to you. Diba? We just have to seek God. Do you know seeking is a parang common language na nandiyan sa Bible, di ba? Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. We just have to seek God. Seek God in faith. We have to seek God for His um, guidance. Kung ano yung will niya sa akin, then God will, find, God will just guide us to the place He wanted us to be. Amen? Maybe you're in a full of death right now. Maybe you're in a chaotic relationship, chaotic family. Maybe you're in a, I don't know. But God will just lead you to it. You just have to fully trust Him. You just have to put our faith in Him. I don't know how God will, will do that because everyone's, everyone's in it. Lahat tayo may pinagdadaanan. Amen? Kaya niyo katabi niyo, may pinagdadaanan ba? Kaya niyo mukha. <laughs> Amen? So let me um, go back to Matthew. Sabi dito, ito yun. Di ba sinabi ni God ng Jesus na talk? It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Si hindi sinabi ng kananin naman, Ha? Huh? Ako? Dog? Mm-hmm. Yan, dog pala ako ha? Hindi siya na ganun. Hindi siya, ay napaka-insult. Insult to ako Lord. Bakit dog yung pinaan mo sa akin? Bakit inihilig tulad mo ako sa dog? Hindi <coughs> siya na ganun. Sinabi niya dito, Yes Lord. Sinabi niya, Yes Lord. Sinabi ni Jesus, Uh, sinabi niya dito, di ba? Uh, sa inyo? Take the children and toss it to their dogs. Wala siya, hindi siya nag-pause, hindi siya nag- kahit uh, nag-think power what. Sabi niya, yes Lord. Yes Lord, I agree. Yes Lord. She said, but, may but, pag may but sa Bible, pero may, alam mo pag may but sa Bible, something amazing is kaya, kaya nandito yung babae na to because of this bud. Nandito siya. But even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their masters. Even the crumbs. Lord, kahit kakarupit lang yung word. Alam niyo yung pandesal? Makain na yung pandesal, di ba? Lalo na yung sa food paradise, yung sarap. Alam niyo yung parang crumb, yung parang... Di ba? Anong ginagawa niyo sa crumbs? Iniipon? Pwede pa ito maging pan. <laughs> Inigibol niya ba? Pwede pa ito maging food powder? Choco flavor. Hindi, di ba? Inapagpag na lang. Inapagpag na lang tapos kakainin ng mga nanggang subay. But sabi niya, even Lord, the crumbs. Sinabi niya ito, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their masters. Wow! Na-amaze God. Even nakakarupit ng Lord. Even a small mercy, Lord, that comes from you, okay na. In God, Jesus was amazed. Sabi niya dito, Woman, your great faith, your request is granted. Just a little faith. Sabi ni Jesus, just a faith as small as a mustard seed will move mountains. Amen. Amen? Even our smallest faith, God, kahit ganito lang, Lord, okay na kami. 
If we just eat, Lord, three times a day, Lord, graduate lang yung mga anak ko, Lord, even just pamasahe lang, Lord, everything is good, we are healthy, Lord. Lord, ganun lang, Lord. Everything will be okay. Even the smallest of crumbs, Lord God. Amazing. Even the smallest of mercy, the tiniest of mercy, Lord, we will need it. The crumbs of faith, the mercy. Um, you see how desperate this woman is? Because of this desperation, this great love for his daughter, great love na meron siya sa daughter niya, even though maybe they are widowed, maybe they are wala na talaga silang mahalin. That's why he's so, she's so desperate that even kahit yung daughter niya na lang, Lord, have mercy on me so that the, my daughter will be healed in a demon, demon possession. Lord, even just a crown, Lord God, we will be okay. A crown of mercy, Lord. Because of this great love for his daughter, and a sudden desperate and a desperation that is na yung anak niya mangihil, God gave him a, a commendation. What a great faith you have, woman. God was just testing her. Jesus was just testing her. Kung ano ba talaga yung nasa heart niya. If, if it, sina, uh, diba sabi dito, um, the thought of, and he knew exactly what will lead her to a personal faith in him. Just as I said, God wants to have a personal relationship with us. But then, nakita niyo na how, how um, this, this woman, instead, siguro kung tayo, siguro kung ako nung sinabi ni Jesus, I came only to save the lordship of Israel, but stop na ako. Okay, Lord. Sige na. Sorry, no. Stop na ako. Siguro kung ako, but then these women, wow, sabi niya, yes Lord, even the crumbs, kahit crumbs ng Lord, kakainin ko, kakainin ng Lord yan. Wow. Because of her desperation, sabi ko nga, because of her desperation, na, na gusto niya talaga mahil si Lord, hindi lang, gusto niya mahil yung, yung anak niya, hindi lang nahil yung anak niya, but there is a personal, personal relationship with Jesus. You know, God will use our circumstances. Ngayon, minsan, inisip natin, ah, kasakit yung anak mo. Siguro, masama ako this week. Siguro, um, nagbabara na naman ako, sismis na ako. No. God, God wants to use our circumstances. God wants to use our trials, our sufferings. God wants to use all of those so that we will be closer and closer and closer to Him. Okay. Every single day. It doesn't mean na Christian na, Christian ako, malapit na ako kay Lord. Faithful and everything. Christian is a, Christian life is a everyday battle. It doesn't stop nandun lang. Christian ako, okay. Wala na akong problema. Jesus didn't promise a problem in real life. But Jesus promised a problem-proof life. Diba? Problem-proof na tayo. Even though anong problems, we will not be shaken because Jesus is our rock. Amen. 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 Praise God. And you see how, how this woman, even her mothers, you can see the model to uh, 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 a great love of a mother to us. A great love, parang pinakita din yung great love ng mother sa atin. And I, for one, is a, um, ano to, is a witness. My mother, I know she's been praying for us. And I believe all of the mothers here are praying for their children. For the good future. For the good, um, not just future, good health. Maybe a good career. Maybe a good, um, study, yung uh, results of study, maybe a, a guidance. Even though, minsan nakikita na yung mga anak na ano ba ito si mama? Dada ng dada. Lagi ka na lang alis ng bahay kasi puro na lang sabat ng sabat. 
Amen. Nakita natin yung galing in here. Nakita natin yung um, advertisement ng para sa Adamon. Yung mother. Yung bata dan ang dada siya. Study ka na. Ganito. Well, ano din naman? Ano to? Hindi ka na matulog. Tapos bukas magkakasit ka naman. Ganito na. Marami talaga yung dada. Kaya ako naiis ako doon. Tapos after that, before pala siya pumunta ng school, meron pala siyang para sa ito. Tapos siya ngayon may para sa ito mo siya. Then, he called his mom. Um, actually, napadal ko siya nung nasa... Saan ba? Ipil. Nasa ipil ako nyo. He called his mom. And then, nai, salamat. Um, may para sa ito. Ito lang. Amazing man to. Bigyan ito mo. Tumulog mo ako. Nag-iskingan. Ito, tinawagay ko siya. Tapos, <laughs> um, you see, our, our mothers are very important to us. Um, for those na may mother pa, yung iba wala ng mothers, how blessed are we? I am so blessed. I know you are blessed too. And sometimes, kahit once a year lang, let me tell to our mothers, or even to our fathers. Ah, fathers next month na lang kasi fathers din may third kayo. Can we just tell to our mothers, I love you, mom. I love you, I miss you. I don't know what I am without you. Amen? And how, how lucky I am, how blessed I am to have you, uh, which you have nurtured me. What I am now, what we are now is the product of our parents. Amen. And I am so blessed. And I know you're blessed too. And I just hope and pray that hindi lang to para sa mothers yung preaching ko ngayon word ng that time. This preaching is for all of us. The desperation that we need. The faith that we need. Of how God will push or God, how God will use our um, circumstances. You know that God will not, God is willing to, to um, God is willing to change us rather than change our circumstances. Mas gusto ni God na mag-change ka sa trial na yan kesa iwawalan ni God yung trial na yan. Kasi God put it in a purpose so that maging develop, well develop tayo. Diba? Sinabi nga, malagi na lang tumimay to stay. Yung goal, pag mahinit, palagi niyang pinuprioryfy. Kasi para mawala yung impurities niya, yung mga pangit na qualities ng gold. So palagi ang iniingit, thousand degrees, ten thousand degrees, para mawala yung impurities. And then after that, wala, napakaganda ng gold. It's like us. We are, we are thrown into the fire, we are thrown into the storm, but after that, we will have no bruises. Burns. Because Jesus is with us. Because God is with us. Just have to trust in Him. Just have to put our faith in Him. All the way. Not just halfway, not just midway. But all the way. Amen. We can tell. We are in heaven. We are, we are, uh, we are with God in heaven. Now. God will say, Child, you are a man of great faith. Amen. Let me pray. Um,